In a show of solidarity and compassion, the government of Trinidad and Tobago has begun assisting this country in its F recovery efforts. On December 31st, a naval ship carrying 492,000 U.S. dollars worth of goods arrived at the Camden Park port. Included in the contribution were cement, plywood, water, materials for shelters, and heavy-duty equipment. On hand to receive the donation was Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonsalves, along with his wife Eloise and representatives from the National Emergency Management Office, or NEMO. The Prime Minister says the gesture by the President of Trinidad and Tobago shows the long-standing relationship between the two nations since they share a similar history and family connections. The Prime Minister added that the task of rebuilding the country is more than the state resources can handle, and the aid and response of sister territories of CARICOM is most appreciated. Dr. Gonsalves also took the opportunity to thank Vincentians for their show of brotherly love during the time of disaster. The low-level trough system which hit the country on Christmas Eve caused immense infrastructural damage, left nine persons dead and three missing. The Prime Minister says they will be laying to rest those who died from this weekend. A number of Christian organizations, religious groupings and churches across the country are coming together for a national charity concert in aid of disaster relief for victims of the recent devastating floods. The event, which is being called Hope Concert, an evening of prayer and praise, is planned for Sunday, January 12th from 5 p.m. at the Victoria Park and will be held under the theme, Our Faith Will See Us Through. The concert is being organized by the umbrella grouping Hope for the Nation Committee and will feature six leading worship teams with intercessory prayers for the nation by leaders of various Christian organizations. The committee also plans to invite Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonsalves, Leader of the Opposition, the Honorable Anim Eustace, and the Honorable Maxwell Charles, Minister of Ecclesiastical Affairs, to be present and to deliver addresses while special prayers will be said for them. The public is being invited to attend in large numbers and donate food and money in special receptacles which will be placed around the park. These will be supervised and handed over to various charitable organizations for distribution. The Hope Concert is being organized to show God's love in tangible ways to the nation in this our time of crisis. The Bethel High School Past Student Association launched its disaster fund to help persons here who in one way or the other suffered due to the flooding on Christmas Eve. The appeal fund was held last Saturday at the Royal St. Vincent and the Grenadines Police Canteen. The event was chaired by Vice President Alvin Jackson, and remarks regarding the funding appeal were given by Montgomery Cupid, President of the Bethel High School PTA. Head of the Reunion Committee, Mrs. Colleen Samuel, and Head of the Royal St. Vincent and the Grenadines Police Canteen, Brenton Smith, were also there to witness the appeal ceremony. According to the release, the association is appealing to persons who can generously give to those who are unfortunate at this time. The Democratic Republic Party leader and Anicia Batiste collaborated with New York-based community group Gems Hope for Home, members of the Thusia Seventh-day Adventist Church, and other anonymous contributors to provide assistance in the form of water, food, clothing, and shoes to two of the shelters in Bookermont and Rosebank on Friday, December 27, 2013. Batiste also took gift bags for a total of about 40 children at the shelters and engaged the children in prayer and games to help bring cheer and comfort for their experiences. Meanwhile, on Sunday, December 29th, members of the DRP took clothing, shoes and bottled water to the community shelter in Spring Village to assist survivors there. As Christians, Batiste and her team lead persons in prayer and biblical exhortation to strengthen their hearts in this difficult time. Batiste also took food packages to a family in Petit Bordel, expressing condolences to the families who, of those sorry, who lost lives in the disaster. Batiste wishes all survivors the comfort of God through His Holy Spirit. We'll be back with more local stories after this.